All right, so let's do this. Let's talk about Tanisha for a minute. Nipsey's ex-girlfriend slash baby mama slash the world hates her slash uh, she's not good enough to be a mom, right? This is what's out there in the news about her, right? Let's set the record straight. Let's go ahead and be real. Let's let's not get on um, this uh, artificial BS and be saying, oh, in the back of our minds, since Nipsey and his family got money, that makes them uh, more fit and better to raise Imani, right? Let's not do that. Let's not do that. Yes, they have more money. Yes, that puts them in, in a more fortunate position to probably buy her more toys and trinkets and and spoil her right but that does not necessarily mean um being able to buy her more toys and trinkets and being able to spoil her more is a a better form of parenting a better form of raising her because let me tell you something you giving all these kids all this stuff and you never telling them the word no is is creating um a monster in itself. So if a child has everything he or she wants, you're not you're not doing a better job raising them. So stop putting this poor woman down. Stop telling her on the internet and all across social media that she's unfit because she don't have the bag, the money, the dollar bills whatever Tanisha is me Tanisha is my sisters Tanisha is my mother Tanisha is my grandmother Tanisha is my cousin she's all these people that I can think of in my life or all of these women I can think of in my life who have worked hard, who have struggled, who have um, constantly fought against adversity, constantly worked um, to be stable, constantly dealt with mental health issues, constantly dealt with uh, trauma to raise their children, okay? Okay. So just because this woman has no money, just because this woman is not well off and rich does not make her a bad mother. Money don't make you a better parent. Money don't make you a better mother. Money don't make you a better father. Because let's just be real. When Nip was alive, was Nip paying child support? Nip had the money, right? Let, let, let's just go ahead and Let's just go ahead and, and address that. Nip had the money, right? Nip elevated himself financially. He was in a better uh, financial position than Tanisha after, after he successfully did this for himself, right? But he never paid child support. So that means he wasn't necessarily a better parent than Tanisha because he got money. He didn't pay child support. So did he take care of his end of the bargain? I'm pretty sure him and Tanisha had conversations behind closed doors. I'm pretty sure they had some kind of agreement. But he didn't pay child support. So did that make Nip a better parent than Tanisha? Because he got money? No. I don't, I don't, I don't think that at all. Money is the root of all evil people. Money can ch change and turn a lot of heads. I don't think that made Nip a better parent because he had money. And then when I think about the fact that he didn't pay child support, that, that just proves my point even further. Tanisha, if you ever get to this video and you're ever watching, um, you know, I'm backing you up because the world is so cruel and so hypocritical and so judgmental and people are so quick to throw you under the bus and say you're not fit to take care of your daughter Imani who are these people to be saying these things about you who are you know who is who who are these people to be judging you 
You know, I just don't get it. And then you got all these naysayers and haysayers and whatever, right? You got people jumping on the, the Nipsey family's uh, bandwagon and 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 saying and cheerleading and saying oh yeah she's definitely um a hood rat she's definitely not parent material she's definitely who are these people to be saying this about you they don't even know you girl they don't even know you and yes i'm probably gonna get a, a lot of people hating on me um creating this video but i'm just speaking truth and i'm just speaking facts man it's so easy for somebody to put you down to judge you to um make false accusations about you when you are the one that's not uh wealthy or not well off or you don't have more money or you or you don't have the millions or thousands of dollars to care for your kid so because you don't have that that makes you a horrible parent but what am i i'm not a millionaire I don't have $500,000 sitting in my bank account. I don't even have 50 grand sitting in my bank account. But my bills are paid. My children are well fed. They are loved. So what does that make me? So you mean to tell me that you can sit here and tell me that I'm a bad parent because I don't make millions of dollars or because I don't make thousands of dollars at a time. But if my children are fed, they are loved, they're taken care of, they're happy. And I don't have 10 grand sitting in my bank account, five grand sitting in my bank account, and my bills are paid. I have a roof over my head for my kids. My kids have clean clothes on every day. I comb my daughter's hair. So does that make me a good mom? Does that still qualify me to be a good mom and still qualify me to be a fit parent because I, I don't have five grand sitting in the bank account? That's something to think about. Tanisha, all these people out here talking about you're not a fit parent because you ain't got no money, that's bogus. Straight up bogus. Nipsey, uh, family members, all y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. And Samantha, who are you to take that woman's daughter? Let, let's just flip the script around. Let's just say you had a daughter and you were in a relationship uh, with a man on and off for 16 years or however long she was with your brother. And, and you guys had a child together and um, you dealt with this struggle love thing. And, and the sister of the the man you had a child with decides that oh since we got bank and we doing well we just gonna come over and we gonna we gonna take samantha's daughter and we gonna we gonna throw samantha under the bus and we gonna call samantha an unfit parent because she don't have five grand in a bank account because she don't have a million dollars because she don't have 50 grand how would that make you feel samantha Honestly, you would be hurt that somebody decided to come along and take your daughter from you. I think what you're doing is wrong. I, but I also think, now don't get me wrong, I'm not bashing you. I also think you have great intentions for your niece. I think you, you want the best for your niece. I think you want your niece to be well taken care of. And, and I think... The mother was doing some things that y'all as a family unit did not approve of and didn't think was a good look, not just for the public, but also for um, Imani's sake. I get that. I'm not against that at all. I'm not against y'all having Imani's best interest at heart at all. But I also think there's ulterior motives involved. Y'all want to put this poor lady down because she ain't got no money. That's wrong. Let that child see her mother. Let that woman see her daughter. Y'all stop doing this. Y'all stop throwing each other under the bus. Y'all got to work together. And whether if you guys like it or not, Samantha, y'all are family. The mother of Imani is considered y'all's family, family member. Whether if you like it or not, agree with it or not, she is family. Because she is that child's mother. 
And then you got to think about this too. Without, without Tanisha, there would be no Imani. Think about that. And I think you are partially putting shame to your brother's name by taking this child away from her mother and, 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 and taking her to court and saying she's this and saying she's that. Because if Nipsey was here right now, I'm pretty sure Nipsey wouldn't do it. Obviously, Nipsey didn't think she was so bad of a mom because Nipsey and her had an agreement when he was alive and they was working together. As far as I know. So you would be you would be disappointing your brother just a little bit by doing what you're doing to this poor girl. It ain't right. It ain't right. I had a son at a very young age. I was 19 when I got pregnant and I was 20 when I gave birth to my oldest son. Now the family of the father of my son, the family of the father, if they ever in their natural born lives dare to take my son away from me and call me a bad mother and throw me under the bus and say all these um, negative things about me and try to take me to court and take my child away from me and claim that they can raise my son better than me, oh, there will be hell to pay. There will be hell to pay. I wouldn't sit around and not put up a fight for my child. I would be putting up a serious fight. Because right now to this day, where's my son? In his room, happy, playing video games, well-fed, doing great in school. He got a roof over his head. He got a mom that he knows who loves him dearly. Where's his father? As far as I know, and then I last talked to the family in jail still. And that might be lying to try to keep, keep me from reconnecting my son with his father. But... Last I heard, he's in jail. He ain't never had a job and kept it. He ain't never sent me no check to help take care of our son that we had together. He ain't never called for his birthday. He ain't never called for Christmas. And the list goes on. He's non-existent. But who's here putting in all the tireless work and effort and hard work and frustration and adversity? Who's dealing with all of that? Me. Who dealt with all of that when Nip was alive? Tanisha. So y'all got to give Tanisha a little bit of credit. Tanisha ain't all bad. Y'all will actually have class. If y'all involve this woman in, his child, in her child's life and y'all don't sidebar her and put her off to the side, that makes y'all trash. It don't make you classy. It makes you messy. I'm done. That's all I got to say about this. Tanisha, hold your head up high. Hang in there. God is on your side. Remember that.